From the newsroom at news.com.au. G'day, I'm Andrew Bucklow, and this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Tuesday, the 28th of September. You'll soon be able to take a COVID test at home. Do-it-yourself rapid antigen tests will be available in Australia from the start of November, according to the Daily Telegraph. They've been used around the world for months, but Australia has held off on approving them for use until the vaccination rate increased. The tests can provide results in as little as 10 minutes, but they're not as accurate as the PCR test that you currently get at a testing centre. To Victoria now, police are on the hunt for a man who tried to abduct a nine-year-old boy on the weekend. The boy was playing hide-and-seek at a shopping centre in Don. Doncaster East when a man grabbed his arm and tried to force him into a car. The boy managed to escape. Police are currently looking for the man who has a tattoo of a snake on his neck and a swear word tattooed on his left hand. Overseas and French President Emmanuel Macron was pelted with an egg while he was visiting a restaurant and hotel trade fair. The egg hit his shoulder but bounced off without breaking. The assailant was quickly subdued and removed from the room, with Macron saying he would try to speak to him later. To sport, Manly Sea Eagle star Tom Trebojevic won the Dally M medal last night. It's a remarkable achievement given he missed the first five rounds of the season through injury. What an honour it is to, to win this award. Um... You know, I was just reading through the, the past winners just then and uh, to be recognised amongst that list, it's, uh, it's pretty special. Still in NRL and a video has emerged of two Melbourne Storm stars in a hotel room with a mystery white substance. The NRL Integrity Unit will interview Brandon Smith and Cameron Munster about the footage. Singer R. Kelly has been convicted of leading a decades-long sex crime ring. A New York jury found Kelly guilty on all nine charges, including racketeering. He'll be sentenced in May and faces between 10 years and life in prison. And finally, in royal news, Prince Andrew is selling his $32 million holiday home in Switzerland to help fund his legal battle. The prince was recently served with legal papers alleging he sexually assaulted a woman named Virginia Jaffray when she was 17. He's currently taking refuge in Balmoral Castle as his legal team weigh up his options. If you want news.com.au with member awards and fewer ads, get news.com.au premium today at news.com.au forward slash premium membership. That's it from the newsroom. We'll be back with another update soon. Your update from news.com.au.